to see all these photos that I got. What we get? Chapter 11, In the Dark. Ignis' resolve forces a recollection between Noctis and Gladios. Or, or geez, whatever. And restores harmony to the group with renewed vigor. Vigor, Jesus. The four friends <laughs> reboard the train and head for Tenebrae, home of the late Lady F Lady Luna Freya. Jeez, I cannot speak it in English. I can't say I can't speak in English today because I can never speak in English. Oh my God, Aiden or whatever the fuck your name is, a Adrian. Adron, I don't fucking know. I don't care about you enough to fucking remember your name. Cause fuck you, you're gonna die. You stabbed Luna Freya. I'm gonna kill you. Just, just, just gonna kill you. Just a little bit. I have like, I have a lot of fucking energy. What the fuck did you get on my train, you bitch? Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia. <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> We're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. The last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go, anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. Is, what's this face gonna come out of nowhere? This seems like a good setup for it. I swear to fucking god. Uh, uh, whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal! Yeah. What's going on? Never seen anything like it. What the smoke? Doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a real mystery. Ah! I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of. What the hell are you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't. Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh! No! Oh. Where'd he go? Um. Show yourself! Uh, knocked. Yeah. That son of a bitch. Come on, Noct. You're scaring me. 
Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this! You won't even let me! Noct, please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'll clean up my mess later. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Art? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. That's not the camera. That's Ignis important. and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. my favorite battle theme in the whole game. I will listen to this on repeat. Did they bomb us? Not. We have to protect the people. Oh, hello. Head to the next car. Leave these guys to us. So much for us. Nice. More of them might be on board. Let's check the rear. Love this story again. I'm sure Ignis and Gladio will come up with something. I hope so. Let's go. How bad do you think it is?
Sound effects or anything? Like, okay, I guess that I guess that works. All right, level forty-four. Chapter 12, End of Days. Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances with Prompto and tricks knocked into hurting his closest friend. Nevertheless, the king pushes ever onward, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Huh? <laughs> hey, love. Uh, would you mind bringing me a Mountain Dew? I know, I'm a horrible human being, I get it. What? I'm sorry. All I meant, I didn't hear anything after I said got your knee. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, mom texted me asking me what the plan was. Yeah, but she's like, oh, where are we meeting? What, what is this? What's that? I don't know. What? I thought she had the day off. I don't know. You might want to ask her. Okay, I'll call her mom. Okay. <sighs> You've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. Oh, hello there. And things just got worse. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Alright, this is fucking badass. I love this 
sword. Ah! Don't kill me. Okay. Actually, maybe I should... Maybe I should do this. What are you weak to? Ah, you know what? That's fine. I can't tell if you're resistant to ice or if you're resistant to the javelin. What are you resistant to? You're resistant to ice. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch my gear real quick. I'm going to use my sass and daggers. Come on, I know you got more for me. Oh, they're following me. That makes sense. Okay. Are you resistant to... Well, look who's here. Horanea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. Uh. Who do I trust? <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Uh, do I huh? have to? What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Just, just keep going. Jeez. That was fucking badass, though. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah. There was. We 
Lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. I don't know if I trust you! First you're coming down, slapping me left and right, so and now you're here. So it's not you, we think. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Pigs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, Only if we have to. Would you have me ask? You call us there. We'll do it. Hey. We'll do it. Really appreciate you going out of your way. <laughs> yeah. Well, no sweat. Speak to Pigs. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. Who? Speak to the retainer. Okay. Moving we'll on. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shovel. All right. Followed, I can't tell. No. Cool. Got that. Okay, got that. Sky gemstone. Lovely. Alright. Hello there. Who the hell? My are word. You? Is that you, Prince Noctis? I uh, yeah. Maria. Have we Blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Luna Freya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. 
You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. Do I trust you or do I not trust you? I don't fucking understand. I'm so confused on what the fuck is happening. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Is it? Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Last time I saw him, we were fighting! I don't... I don't understand what the fuck is happening. Also, what is that? What is that, Mark? Oh, wow. We went all the way the fuck around here. Is that where we're going? Nippelheim. Reboard the train. Okay. Aiden, Arden, I don't remember what his name was. Do I trust him or do I not? Because at first he, he stabbed what Lunafreya. And then he he's now I don't I don't get okay, I'm guessing okay. Arden, I'm guessing bad guy. That final answer. Chick in front of me. She attacked me at first and now she's helping me. Okay, cool, whatever. Now, Lunafreya's brother. We were fighting the first time I saw him, and now he's like, Oh, I want to give this back to Noctis. Go see Noctis. What the fuck is going on? I'm so confused. Who, Who's the bad guy here? <sighs> About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got <sighs> close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it, that's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm still just confused. What do you got? I'm good on a lot of these items. But I appreciate it. I mean, nonetheless, even though I'm extremely confused, this game is really fun. Whoa. Yeah? Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. Oh. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But, to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, 
It would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Oh. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> 